What's up everybody? Welcome in today's video and today I will be talking about BCH because this coin currently broke this really interesting triangle on the daily time frame. So right now I think that there is uh, some opportunity to enter multiple long positions because uh, there is like some probability that we will go reach these higher levels and perhaps this bearish order block. So if you are interested about my exact trades and about my exact strategy about this coin, definitely watch this video to the end. But uh, before that, I would like to ask you, if you like my videos and you like my analysis, I will be really happy if you hit that like and subscribe button. And also if you type two comments under the video, because it will simply help out the algorithm to reach out my channel to a new people. So yeah, thank you guys for doing that and enjoy the analysis. But before that, I would like to invite you to my Discord trading group where I am sharing everyday crypto analysis on Bitcoin and other altcoins that I'm currently watching. So if you want to trade with me and be part of my trading community, you can join this group and link to join is in the description or in the comments. Let's start today on the daily time frame. As I said, uh, we currently broke this triangle on the daily chart and right now we are testing this resistance area. Uh, this resistance area is between levels 230 and 226 and if there will be a support confirmation then i think that there can be a pretty good opportunity to enter a long position now you are probably asking why it's not a good idea to enter a long position to enter the long positions right now and the answer is pretty simple if you look back on the chart you can see that uh, this area was historically for example here a perfect support here here it was a resistance here support again here resistance again and their resistance again so if uh, you want to enter a long position here i think it's pretty risky and personally i would like to wait for that breakout and support confirmation because this can give you a pretty good probability of the successful trade and also it will give you an interesting risk reward ratio so the exact trade can look for example like this as i said personally i would wait for uh, for the breakout and support confirmation stop loss i would put somewhere below this uh, below this resistance area definitely i wouldn't put it under this previous resistance because for example if you put the stop loss somewhere for example below there the risk reward ratio won't be longer that good so put the stop loss somewhere below this uh, resistance the last take profit target i would put below the, the below this bearish order block which is between levels 390 and 362 and you can see that historically this was a pretty pretty interesting resistance so so, uh, so yeah, this uh, can be your uh, max take profit target. But uh, definitely take some of the profits, for example, under this week high, which is on the level 329, because also this can be a pretty, interest, pretty interesting resistance. So the best uh, possible strategy will probably be taking multiple take profit targets. So for example, some of the profits you can take here, some of the profits you can take here, here, and then here. And also you can move your stop loss with it. So for example, after you take the first first take profit target you can move your stop loss to entry so you won't turn your profitable position into a loss another possible trading setup is a short trade personally i wouldn't recommend doing that because uh, in my opinion it's pretty risky but if there will be a resistance confirmation not breakout and support confirmation but resistance confirmation there can be an opportunity to enter a short position with a take profit above this bullish order block. This bullish order block is between levels uh, 111 and 89. And this trade can give you risk reward ratio 9.5 which i think it's really good but i think that there is not that big of a probability that we will go test uh, this bullish or the block so yeah if you want to enter a short position personally i would wait for a resistance confirmation of uh, this current resistance so it is if this will happen you can enter a short position but personally there are too many support areas for example the previous resistance of this triangle the support level on the 183 etc so again Again, I probably wouldn't recommend to take this trade. Okay, thank you everybody for watching this video. If you are interested in my exact trades or if you are interested about the exact strategies or the exact analysis that I'm currently using, 
you can join my Discord trading group because I am sharing the crypto analysis there every single day. But this will be all from me for today. Thank you again, everybody, for watching this video. In the comments, you can, for example, type the name of your favorite altcoin. And if there will be interest about this coin, I can look on it in the next video. But this will be all from me for today. Thank you again, everybody, for watching this video. And I will see you tomorrow in the next one. See ya.